Hey guys, Chris Gunn here from Basic Tips Now, where I share with you the things that I think everyone should know. And today I'm going to be talking about Ken Burns and how to permanently disable it, or rather how to change your preferences as to the default that any photo that you upload and put into a video in iMovie will be used. So if you're not familiar with what Ken Burns is at this time, it is the function that makes this photo in your video do that zoom in or zoom out effect. And sometimes you don't want that effect, you just want the picture to be as is. So the quick solution to that is to come up here to the crop function, and you can see you have three different styles, fit, crop to fill, which in this case, the photo is actually the correct resolution, so there's no change. But the Ken Burns effect is what actually makes that zoom, and you can change where, where it goes and if it zooms in, zooms out, and what not. I'm more concerned about the fact that every time it defaults to Ken Burns, I don't want that anymore. So this is how you do it. You come up here and you go to iMovie and you go to preferences and voila, there it is. Photo placement, Ken Burns. I'm going to go to crop to fill or to fit. I'm probably going to go fit. That's more of my preference. And while you're here, you can go ahead and change your photo duration. So if you find yourself using it more like six and seven seconds when you're doing a video, you can go ahead and change that default. That way you're not doing all that clicking and dragging to make it work. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you want more basic tips, I recommend subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, please hit the like button for me and share it to all your friends. All right. Hope this helps.